welcome to Round Robin. I'm your host, Robin McCormick with the City of Hampton. And today we're going to talk with some folks from the Merrimack Dog Training Club. It's Sherry Bryant and Ginger and Michelle Wade. Welcome. Thank you. No offense, but people are going to be more interested in, in the um, four-footed guests, if you would um, introduce them for me. Okay, this is Pandy, and she is nine years old, and she's a standard poodle, and she um, is a therapy dog as well. Aww, and that is? This is Heidi, and she's a white standard poodle, and she also is a therapy dog. They are beautiful, Thank you. and they're so well behaved, which is one of the reasons <laughs> that you know you guys are involved in the club. So tell us um, what kinds of dog training, and let, let's start with the basic for people who have pets, um, maybe who they can't quite control or don't know what to do with. Mm -hmm. Well, um, Merrimack Dog Training Club offers the ba the beginner levels. Um, so we do have puppy, um, you know, training. Um, we have obedience training, the beginner level, and then we have advanced obedience training. And at um, certain, um, at the advanced obedience level, you can go for your canine good citizen uh, certificate and also your therapy dog. So we have instructors who are certified um, CGC um, and TDI. Uh, okay, we're not going to know what that is. You're okay, <laughs> Therapy Dog International okay, okay. for Therapy Dog and Canine Good um, Good Citizen. That's the CGC is Canine Good Citizen and Therapy Dog, you know, certificate. And a American Kennel Club as well as Therapy Dog International have, um, you know, certificates, programs that Merrimack follows and um, you can have your dog certified. Okay, but dog training also can really start with the very basic, mm -hmm. I got a puppy from the shelter. Like it doesn't mm -hmm. have to be, it's not the breed, the, no. the, no. the purebred kind of a thing. It is how to, how to teach to, your dog to mm -hmm. be. Good manners, a, yeah. a, a good companion, a fun living mm -hmm. companion. And you know that's harder than, mm -hmm. than it looks, which I guess you guys know. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, when I got Pandy, she was a little bit older, and so we did a lot of classes because she needed a lot of redirecting, and she's my first dog that I really did formal training with. So we started out with a basic obedience class and then an advanced yeah. obedience class, but then, um, you know... But now, wait, you, you're a dog person. You could have trained her yourself. What makes the class be better? Well, what? it helps your dog to be around other dogs so that they're socialized and they learn how to behave out in public. And your dog, just like your children, will do certain things at home and will not do them when you're out somewhere else. So um, it gives you just a variety of um, training atmospheres. And it also gives you structure. And the um, instructors are also very good about giving you helpful hints if your dog has a specific behavior problem that is causing difficulty with your family. Um, we also offer, for people that adopt their animals from a shelter, their first class, they can have $10 off so that it helps them to, to, to see what formal training can help them with their um, dog, especially if a lot of dogs have a lot of issues when they're adopted. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we have one. She's super bright, but, um, mm -hmm. she, and she doesn't, well, she's just really good, but I don't think she's had, you know, training mm -hmm. when she was a puppy, and it, it can mm -hmm. magnify as they get, as they get older. So what is that basic obedience class like? What do you, what do you teach, I will say people, but also mm -hmm. the dogs? It really is the person that you're training, not really the dog, because the person is the one that's going to go home and hopefully practice with the dog. And the dog just is there with you, listening to um, you know, listening to you give the commands. But it really helps the owner to know how do you teach a dog how to sit when they don't want to sit? How do they lay down? How do they leave it when something hits the floor and you don't want them to snatch it up? So it teaches you the basic commands that you need for your dog to be safe and to be enjoyable when other um, people come over to visit. You don't want your dog jumping up. Exactly. You know, trying to rip food out of, you know, a child's hand as they walk around. So it's giving your dog, like Sherry said, the basic manners and, the, and also the training if you want to take your dog to a higher level, you can. And that's typically what happens to a lot of our um, 
people that come they and get take classes and want to do more. They do, and we offer, um, you know, not only do we have classes, but we also also have a number of trials at our building, which once um, the general public sees that type of um, activity going on, it really, um, you know, makes them want to participate in that as well. Well, it's a fun interaction, it I is. would think, with your pet. Now, I don't do this, so I don't know, but I mean, mm -hmm. you know, it's like. Uh, Mm -hmm. It's like taking your kid to Wait. gymnastic, right. Right. only you get to do it do, with them, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and going back to the basic level of classes, um, most of the lessons the person learns um, for to teach their dog um, is basic things like sit, down, wait, and when you open your door, you don't want your dog rushing out. When you take your dog to the vet, you want your dog to behave a certain way. <laughs> and, um, you know, just like children, the more you interact with your dog and the more places they go and the more, you know, you, ex you teach them, you know, the better behaved they are. So, you know, with children, we have preschool classes and you start things off you know, teaching basic manners. And what Merrimack does is they have classes that teach basic manners. You know, um, sometimes people can, you think the word obedience is, has a negative overtone, but really it's basically basic manners so that you and your dog can have a better relationship. And you know, dogs, people take their dogs out in public a lot mm -hmm. now. There are, you know, a lot of farmers markets have, mm -hmm. have dog treats and dog water and we, uh, our dogs are our children sometimes. Mm -hmm. and for <laughs> They're of part people. of our family. Mm -hmm. So members of your club are all ages, and this is Michelle where we're going to get to you. Um, you have already learned, how old are you, first of all? I'm seven years old. And you do some dog handling already? What do you do? I, I do agility with the dog, and that's all I do mostly for the time. Does she listen to you? you do, you've um, done things with Pandy, right? Yes. Does she listen to you? Uh, yeah. That's good. That's really good. Um, so how, it's just amazing to me that um, you guys can teach all this stuff. How much does it cost for somebody to go Set. through one of these classes? The basic class is $90 for six weeks. Um, and then if you've adopted a dog from a shelter, then your first class would be $80. And, um, and then at the end of your class, sometimes you, if your dog has progressed very nicely and you're ready to move on to the next level, then um, we offer about seven sessions a year. You can go on the um, website and look and see when the classes are offered. I've always said I was gonna do this and I never have. So now I'm really interested in it. Mm -hmm. um, and you guys are located where? We're 15 like, Newsom Place, mm -hmm. which and is, it's right off of Salters Creek, right there at the Powhatan exit. That's really convenient. And mm -hmm. we'll also say at this point, I assumed this was a Hampton organization, and it is based in Hampton, mm -hmm. but you have members from all over. Yes, mm -hmm. and um, we have a building. We have one side of the building that is over 8,000 square feet, and then we have, we got an addition, and that is over 5,000 square feet. And it's climate controlled, matted, so that your dog is working in the best environment um, for it to be successful. And a lot of, and it's a nonprofit mm -hmm. organization. Mm -hmm. You guys probably donate an awful lot of time. Mm -hmm. We do. We so do. a lot of the fees are to the, keep the facility. Yes. So we do special events, like Ginger was mentioning, um, the agility, obedience trials and barn hunt, and um, those help pay for the building. Um, our instructors are all volunteers, and the people wow. that um, put on these events are all volunteers. So um, That's amazing. it's just, you know, similar to other clubs that may, you know, the Roritan Club and special garden clubs and stuff like that. It's a group of people who enjoy spending time with their dog and they enjoy doing physical activities. So you have your own personal trainer, mm -hmm. and, you know, they. Yes. They don't say, oh, you didn't do that. They're just happy to be with you. And so I like the physical aspect of it, you know, and getting out there and doing things, whether it's the indoors at the club or going and doing demos at the um, mutt strut mm -hmm. and you're outside and you're meeting people. So it's a real nice social um, atmosphere. And you guys have both brought standard poodles, but mm -hmm. what are examples of some of the other 
breeds or are they even all breeds? I mean, we accept, you know, all dogs and people. So regardless of the individual's age and regardless of the dog's um, breed. So we have, you know, m uh, mixed breeds. We have um, purebred, you know, like the standard poodle, the Rottweilers, the Dobermans. We have a very diverse group. Um, collies, rough collies, mm -hmm. smooth collies. We have the smaller breeds, Pomeranians, miniature toy poodles. We have men pens. Mm -hmm. um, we have some of the dogs that are, you might not find in a, your typical dog show. Um, and so it's a really nice, diverse group. And, um, you know, we open our doors to everyone. Mm -hmm. So how do we get more information? If people are interested in this, what's the best way to reach you? Is it through a website? We have Merrimack Dog Training Club. That's our website. Um, and we're also on Facebook. So we invite people to like us on Facebook. Ooh, are there and lots of pictures of there's dogs? There's tons <laughs> of pictures of our dogs doing, you know, um, really fun activities with their um, owner. That sounds great. Mm -hmm. Well, in fact, we're going to go ahead and close the interview okay. portion because I think what people want to see a little bit more of is the dogs. So thank you for watching, but stay tuned because we're going to show you uh, a little bit of what these dogs can do.